for this tutorial you're going to need your selected yarn I'm using Starcraft Special DK in fuchsia purple you're going to need a crochet hook I'm using a four and a half millimeter but you can have a look on your yarn label to see which one um, is recommended or which size is recommended you'll need some scissors and a darning needle just to finish off your ends to start this tutorial you want to make your slip knot and you can do this whichever way you prefer. You want to insert your hook and you're going to begin by chaining four. So that's yarn over and pull through. So one, two, three, and four. So that's your starting chain. You're now going to insert your hook into the first chain. So just insert your hook and yarn over and pull through and this creates your center circle so when you're working into the center circle make sure you're working right into the center and not into the stitch that we've just created here but if you do work into that it will just come undone so we're going to begin by chaining one and we're going to do seven double crochets in this very center circle so this is a UK term this is known as single crochet in the US so insert your hook right into the middle grab the yarn and pull it through and you'll have two loops on the hook grab the yarn and pull it through both loops on the hook that's one and the same thing again two three notice that I'm working around this um, piece of yarn here so that we're crocheting it in as we go along four five six and seven you're then going to insert your hook into the top of the first stitch that we created so if you turn your work towards you it will look like you have a little V so you want to insert your hook into there and it will look like you have three loops on the hook and you want to grab it and pull it through all three loops on the hook to create your first round so now we're going to start our row of bubble stitches all the way round. The first one is going to be slightly different, but all the others are going to be the same. So you want to start off by chaining three just to get to the height of the stitch. And what we're aiming to do is actually get five loops on our hook. So we're going to do um, a treble crochet, which is double in the US. So it's yarn over insert into the top of that stitch yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through two we're not going to finish off that treble um, we're going to leave two loops on the hook then we're going to do the same yarn over insert into the same space yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through two that leaves us with three loops and again yarn over insert yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through two that leaves us with four and then once more we'll leave us with five loops on the hook now what you want to do is grab the yarn and pull it through it really helps if you turn your hook all the way down to face the work and pull it through all five loops of the hook give it a bit of a pull and chain to um, secure that into place and what you'll find is it goes flat um, on the side that's facing you and it puffs out on the back of the work so you're actually working with the back side facing you which is different to what um, crochet traditionally is so you want to chain one to move to your next space and then we're going to do a bobble stitch in there so it's yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and you'll have two loops on the hook and again the same 
three loops, four loops, and five loops. Yarn over, pull through all five loops, pull nice and tight, and chain to secure that stitch, and then chain one and move round until your uh, to your next space. You're going to do this in all of the spaces and you'll find that you'll have eight bobble stitches. So pause the video, work your way around to the end and I'll show you how to connect and do your next row. So I've now done my eight bobble stitches and I've changed two, so one to secure the stitch and one to move over to the next uh, space. And what we're going to do now is connect the, uh, the circle. So you want to insert your hook into the top of the first stitch and do a slip stitch to tie those together. You're then going to chain three, one, two, three, and that's to work up to the height of the stitch. And now what we're going to do is we're going to work a bobble stitch into the top of a bobble stitch and in between the bobble stitch. So we're increasing the size of the circle. So I'm going to do my first one in this very same space here. So remember the fir this first one's different because we've already done a chain three. So um, you just want to continue as normal and all you're looking for is getting uh, five loops on the hook. that's four and five so it just works out that you have to do it once more to get the five so yarn over and pull through and then secure and chain one now we're going to work in the gap so bobble stitch as normal it's three loops on the hook four loops and five, chain one, pull through, secure and chain. And then we're going to work into the top of this bobble stitch. So if you kind of look at the bobble stitch, you'll see one longer stitch and then a tighter stitch. I tend to go in the longer stitch just because it's a little bit easier. So what I mean by that is yarn over and insert into this space here. And do exactly the same procedure as you've been doing already. So because we're doubling um, our bobble stitches, you will end up with eight bobble stitches altogether. So you want to work your way round exactly the same as this. So one into the bobble stitch, one in between, one into the stitch, one in between, all the way round until you get to the last space. So pause the video until you get there and I shall meet you back in a moment. So now I've worked my way all the way round and I have met up with the original stitch. So all I'm going to do is insert my hook into the top of that stitch and yarn over and pull through to connect and then yarn over and pull through to make a knot. Grab my scissors and snip off. Pull out the yarn and then pull nice and tight and that finishes off your circle and then if you flip it round you'll see that it actually looks more um, like your bobble stitch. So I'm going to snip this off because I crocheted that in at the beginning and then you would just need to sew in your end here. Now if you want to make this into a square like this which is what people usually do, um, I actually have a tutorial already on how to make a circle into a square. Um, it's for my sunburst granny square but it's exactly the same process as this. So I shall direct you to that tutorial, I'll leave the link in the description box below. But I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time, bye!